Hello YouTube viewers once again welcome to the production when for some time now I've not been able to uh, give answer to many questions that people have been asking my subscribers been asking because I have a lot of workload which I've been trying to uh, resolve and because of that I've been compiling a lot of questions on the issue of free energy and which I'm going to treat in a very uh, practical form from now on but today I've picked a very peculiar area which I know some have been asking about few people have been asking that questions and I just want to draw light on it and explain the issues once and for all even if I cannot do it in one video I can do it in other videos I will do it make sure that the question is very simple once and for all one of my subscribers asked the question of power break and he said that something very important power break when switch over in French generator he have any issue on how he can resolve the issue of power break you know power break we're talking about is when you switch over from external power supply to internal power supply the electric motor will go off completely and the system will not be able to function and i've received about few questions from this source and people have been asking the same question say each time i design a different generator it runs perfectly okay everything was working perfectly but each time i switch over to the external uh, internal power source the issue of a uh, uh, power break or the generator will go off completely and they ask me what is the problem how can they solve this problem yes a uh, free edge generator is a very technical system that requires a, a good experienced uh, person to teach you and also guide you on how you can do this perfectly i have decided to make it on the book form because of some of the questions they ask and the issue that are evolved in french generator and i also made the book available for those who want to really go into the field of French generator and not just those who want to do it for fun and sometimes most of the things you are asking uh, in the book you, you can have your own copy if you wish to but i'm going to explain few things on that area that also is an extra from the book the few things which i may not be able to cover in one book but i'm going to uh, answer few questions on that of power break is an extra from the book the ebook now for instance one, there are three things you need to observe whenever you have the issue of power break. First, these three things are basically the cause of the power break. Maybe one of them, maybe more than three, but I, the three things are always very common. First of all, we have the issue of insufficient power supply from the generator. This is the generator as you can see. And this is the electric motor now if you plug this electric motor into a producer power supply you know the electric motor will run in a very full speed it will be turned as the electric motor will run very full speed and then but in, in, when you switch over into the internal power supply which is going to the electric motor slow down and as a result the generator cannot produce the electricity you require now, why is this happening is because the electric motor is not able to receive a good power that will enable it to continue to be in motion why when you switch over to from the power supply of external to internal which has to be a generator there's automatically a break in transmission and that break in transmission is what that make the electric motor to slow down because in the process of switching over there's a break in supply 
and that break in supply is what make the electric motor to slow down and in that process of the electric motor to slow down the generator now could not be able to supply the required voltage that will enable the electric motor to continue to be in motion as I will call it to be able to boost it up to, or to pull it into action because already you know, the, the electric current run in a very fast speed the, within a short period of time of switching over you discover that the, the voltage will drop immediately and if the generator cannot supply another voltage because why the generator receive its own supply from the electric motor and in other words electric motor is the power of the generator so when there's a break in supply the electric motor so reduce its speed that is why I say it slowed down in speed as you can see here it slowed down in speed and as it slowed down in speed it automatically affected the generator here in the same process so generator now as it's affected it cannot supply the required voltage it cannot be able to pull up quickly to action to enable the electric motor to pick up faster again that is most of the time that is why whenever you switch over from the power supply of the public or from external power supply to international power supply you see that is a break immediately in your transmission in your voltage in your current flow and that is where people some people have issue now the question is what would be the way out because if you switch over from this external power supply any friendly generator is working people and many people doing it and also receive confirmation says sir this is is working but the issue now is when i switch over i have issues with me but if i continue in the power supply of a small power supply the generator still produce the required voltage i need very high but each time i switch over back to the, this process it will slow down what shall i do very important very very important because that is where the nitty gritty of the, of the system relies on if we cannot run by itself then it's not flame generator it's not self generator so that is the area where the issue of making into a deep energy design then you must know this if you don't want to use a flyway system because that is where flyway is coming if you have if you want to use a flyway system to solve that problem because the easiest the one of the ways to solve this problem is using flyway the flyway will not be introduced when the flyway is being introduced in between the electric motor and the generator when you switch over the flyway will still be in a motion to keep the generator running that is number one that is where we call it the kinetic energy the energy between the two systems when you switch over from the external power supply to the internal the flyway store the voltage you store the sorry, store the force that you need to keep your energy running in this process now the fly will help you but in the case where you have fly we and you still have that issue i'll tell you what to do that is very important but it will not be in this video i'm going to tell you because that is another area because i have seen people have seen that question and over and over again i'm going to explain that in a very practical way because i know many people have that issue and I know that is where many of them are trying to use to be first. When you have the cost of energy first, I will now bring in that solution in. You are able to design the energy generator, you see the energy generator is being designed. It means you have appreciated the system. You have known that the system is working. Now the problem is this area. We're going to resolve that. Now, 
Another area I'm going to look at is a slow down in the speed of the electric motor. Slow down. If if electric motor slow down, this definitely you cannot have a required voltage you want for the generator. So you must solve that problem. You think that's the problem of solving. You must not allow the electric motor to slow down in any way. Because if you do that, definitely it will affect the production capacity of the generator. Number three, you must use a correct materials. Don't go and use scrap. If you want to design a friendly generator, you want to have good result, use correct materials. Don't go and use scrap that you know that in its own way is not functional way. And they use it to now use it to turn the generator, and at that time you still have issue. For instance, I have a a what I receive from one um, subscriber of uh, the issue he has. Um, we will attempt to explain. Now you're going to take a look at this video and see what exactly I'm trying to explain. Now take a look at this. My name is Felix. As you asked for. This is the component I have purchased and I have constructed. If you look, this is the alternator I'm talking about. You see the picture? That is the 7.5 kilowatts synchronous generator connected here with a belt to an electric motor. The electric motor is this. A 1.5 a 1.5 kilowatts electric motor 220 volt you can see very well 50 megawatts although it might not be too clear I will give you the full details 1410 revolution per, per, per minute and if you see this is the cable connected here down to the box control box this is the cable from the other electric motor this is the control switch this portion is the electricity which we used to drive initially this portion is the connection to the alternator and connection to other to the other things we want to use the power for if you see this cable this cable is connected from the alternator here now see down to this place so that when we run with electricity we easily shift to alternator so that the power can continue from alternator into the electric motor so you are going to see now why I switch it on to electricity in a moment, I will connect the power. Now that the power is connected, I want to switch it on now. So you can see what I'm talking about. But my issue now bring it to the generator and it stops immediately that is the problem he doesn't continue but if I put it on electricity it comes to I initially constructed this thing with a flywheel located here. 
in between with this electric motor seated here power supply whenever i connect it to public power supply the generator will start running and produce voltage now when you switch over to this uh, internal power supply which is the generator power it stopped in the line. exactly what i explained why did it stop is because there's a break in voltage transmission between the process of here turn from here to this point here there's a break there's definitely a break the voltage break so when there's no corresponding voltage that will enable the the motor to, to, to pick up the, there's no voltage at that time so it and the the process now just break and the cuts so when as a switch back to this uh, uh, public power supply it picks up again so what mr first having is having the issue of voltage transmission the problem of voltage transmission means what issue have been done is to introduce a booster so that the booster will enable the voltage in the process of uh, or if you cannot put the booster then you have to do find a way to connect the two the two systems has and i have a temporal power storage i don't know if you understand it that is very important area because what it did the machine is okay generator is okay even if they look they look somehow old but it's the problem of turn changing the problem of changing from one part to the other is the problem is having so it, it, it does not there is no way it, the generator can pick up but whenever you switch over to this this other side the power goes completely down as it goes off so there is no corresponding power that will enable the, the motor the the will enable the electric motor to pick up so if and it will not start like something in new again that is why it's having an issue so until you solve that problem of breakdown and power will continue to have that issue it's a very it's a very simple understanding problem it's not just too difficult it's not that difficult just a simple understanding solving the problem of power break if you have a solve that problem of power break you will not have that issue again